The Digital Substation project is about digitising the protection automation systems that Transpower uses today. Digital Substation work is actually a subset of a wider part of work to look at how we can better use digital technologies to manage the key grid connections we have with our customers. Basically digitising the connection between our control rooms and the equipment in a substation. Behind me we have essentially an entire substation worth of protection. One of the key benefits of having this lab is it allows us to test the products and technology to ensure they do what they say they do. And one other capability it provides is a lot more automation in the testing and commissioning of our equipment. To take the control system that's at the heart of a substation that monitors and controls those key pieces of equipment and needs to act really fast. And instead of using lots and lots of copper cabling, we're going to replace that with a few fibre optic cables. Right, that's a really big transformation. It has to work well, so it's really important that we prove that technology, which is why we built a lab here at Waikuku to actually test and simulate it as part of our two-year program to roll out and ultimately deploy digital protection and automation control in our substations across New Zealand. Things we learned during the conceptual section of this project was the amount of copper cable you could eliminate using fibre, as well as uh, testing uh, was very, very important to ensure that you didn't encounter issues at the implementation stage of the project. We can now start gaining the benefits of it being here, being available to use. We can bring people in to do uh, training. People can work remotely, the, the entire lab is remotely connected. So of course in times of COVID and the pandemic, being able to get people to continue learning, training and doing things is very important. So it really takes us forward in terms of the way we um, monitor and control our substations, but also the way people work in our substations, what we really expect of our technicians and effectively future proofs this equipment. So if we are going to be building more substations, and we will be, let's make sure they've got the most modern practices in place.